Thank you. You're watching uh, TBC Breakfast and it's good to have you join us. We've been speaking in the past couple of minutes on the fallout between uh, the former chairman of the Jebu East local government, Wale Adedayo, and the governor of Ogun State, Dakwa Biodun, regarding allegations of diversion of um, funds meant for the local government. Uh, Mr. Shino Lurimikon here represents uh, the civil society that have also been monitoring the development. And Mr. Kayode Akimade is a chief consultant on media to the governor. I asked earlier on about, you know, the fact that the governor appears to be fighting back now. Uh, there is a case and that has been instituted against uh, Mr. Adedayo. But th there is still the narrative that the governor appears to be persecuting uh, the man in the eye of the storm. Or let me just say the former local government chairman. Uh, first, it was the issue of his detention, uh, you know, at the DSS. And now uh, what, what we're seeing. How do you respond to that? Thank you very much. Um, it is rather unfortunate that uh, people are reading on due minutes to some action taken by government. And just like you were rightly advised, the governor has gone to court, I mean, government has gone to court to clear government name and the, even the name of the governor. So as, that's why I have to put the issue of diversion of fund to rest. And more importantly, it is not the governor is not DSS. It is the governor, will, it is not the governor that will uh, uh, di uh, uh, direct the affairs of DSS and how they operate in any state. And more importantly, when you look at this issue, when uh, Mr. Uh, Wale Adedayo made that allegation, instead of limiting it to just uh, the, the letter he wrote to uh, our elder statement, uh, Chief uh, Oshoba, mm -hmm. apart from sending it to the FCC, he also went around to radio stations and to deliberately incite the public against the government. The security operative had the right to play their role to ensure that. I believe that he was invited based on that. So I have to be able to, because one, when you, that's in a society where, take for instance, somebody in Lagos just now rise up and said the, the governor of Lagos has uh, uh, embezzled us or take some money away. People will react. And when it gets to radio, there, will be, there, will be, there might be negative reactions. And there might be tension in town. He was invited so as to be able to calm all those things down. It wasn't the governor's intention. It was not, it was not uh, participated by the governor. These people are at security operatives of the state, working for the state, take action based on what they saw, not by the, gov the, by the, by the governor. But what we did was to ensure that justice is served, not only to Wale Dayo, but to the governor. Because if you come out to allege that somebody diverted some fund, belonging to local government is a very serious allegation. You also claimed that in the last 26, 27 months, you did not receive a dime from the state coffer. And the way Jack is screwed, there is no state government that can have access to that fund because when at every Jack meeting of state, I can tell you, those who are attending Jack meeting in state, we have the Commissioner of Finance, we have the Commissioner for Local Government and Chieftaincy Affair, we have the 20 local government chairmen. We have the representative of uh, workers in local government. We have Noge. We have uh, um, uh, labor, labor Union. We have pensioners. All major stakeholders. And we sit down together. And they will not, at, at, the, at the meeting, they will identify how much came to that state in that particular month. And when that, that amount is, is uh, released, to, the, to them at the meeting, they will now determine how to share that money. And more importantly, because of the crisis between the former Shia men and some workers in the local government, federal government identifies some first line charges that when money comes to local government, mm. irrespective of the situation, this type of people must be paid. And they are local government workers. And primary school teachers, at at uh, at work at workers, uh, traditional institution, pensioners within the local government, and it was it was stated in that uh, in that law passed. So what the state government will do is that they, with the, the moment the money comes, they will take that money upfront. 
from all the 20 local government uh, allocation and pay in bulk to those people concerned so that those people will receive their salary as at when due. And when you, if you look back, you know there are some state government when the allocation was not sufficient. Instead of paying the total sum, they pay percentage. They are paying percentages because they said, okay, this is the amount we receive. We receive 60% this month and we are paying 60% uh, or across board. But in Ogun State, the governor did not do that. When allocation came, become insufficient, gov the government added more. I have documents here to prove this. And this document, because when uh, Mr. Wale Dayo claimed that uh, between 2019 and now that he has no, he, he's been receiving zero allocation, we have this Joint Account Allocation Committee, Jack, or the Joint Committee in, 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 from this, this from between July and December 2019. In July 2019, the money that came to local government, to local government in Ogun State was 3.4 billion. 3 billion 440, uh, 414 million uh, 40, 410,000 and some cobbles. So it's shared out. The money, first line charges, then was 3 billion 570 million. So these monies are shared out. It, they are shared out. The money shared out is even more than the money received from the uh, from Jack account. And this, we, the, the government cannot even take pay out of it. The pay for that money was 148.8 million. And they couldn't pay. In July, in August, the same thing. 3.2 billion was received as allocation in July 20, 2019. And the money paid was 3.3. So the government, the government had to, to add additional 100 million to it before everybody could be, could be paid. So why should somebody now come out and say that, that he did not receive, he received the reallocation? Why should somebody now come up and say that uh, go, the government has diverted 10 point uh, something billion of, of, uh, of local government allocation? It's very unfortunate. It's unfair. The governors too, they, have their, they, 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 are, they are like us. We shouldn't... Because they are serving us, we should not treat them as if uh, they are rogues. Some of them have their own pedigree before they come to government. Some of them have children, some of them have families, and their families have feeling for them. If you want to come to equity, you come with clients. If you are said, okay, yeah, this um, and what I'm, I want to use this opportunity to please ask Mr. Wilde to provide evidence. Okay, I'll come back to you. Uh but I want to also uh, compare what uh, Mr. Akimari has said now. Ashina Loremiko, what, so what do you think? Because it has gone beyond yeah. uh, writing to the former governor, Ulushego Obas, uh, Oshoba. There are petitions on the allegations mm. against the governor before the DSS and the EFCC. Uh, like I mentioned to you, that um, it's rather unfortunate. Ogun State is saying ABC. We in the civil society are saying X, Y, Z. As a student of political science, in your first year, you will be told arms of government, executive legislators. If we don't want our democracy to backslide, after Wale wrote an alleged of funds misappropriation, Instead of us activating the security agencies, like my friend said, he said there is justice for Wale, who is expressing freedom of exp expression. There is justice for the governor. There is also justice for the society. I would have expected the governor to approach the State House of Assembly and provide all these documents. These documents are just in the studio here. The studio is not known as a harm of government. And that's why we in the civil society, we are saying, Ogun State House of Assembly, set up a public probe. Invite people like us. We also know what we hear. I was laughing. Ade, while Ade Dayo has been impeached, good luck. But Lara Be Musa was impeached in the Second Republic. But painfully, too, as we are saying, justice, justice. We also found out that in the same Ogun state, at 3 a.m., 
when a reasonable person should be sleeping. State agencies went to a private property and brought it down. When I go around town, I will see Mark, stop work. There was no stop work in Ijebode where a private property was brought down. 3 a.m., either Saturday or Sunday. Even when the property owner has engaged a lawyer who got an injunction, I would have also expected that if we want to demonstrate the intellectualism that Ogun State is known for, you just ask your personnel, hold on, go and discharge that order first. Whether it was gotten through what we call Jankara practice or Kangaroo, discharge it first before you move forward. You brought that property down. And I'm also saying the same thing with um, the court issue. Different persons have been arrested. The public is watching. Wale Adedayo spent three days with the DSS investigating. Three days, 24 hours times three. Whereas the law says you can arrest and detain, but you must be charged to court within 24 hours. Then police that started their own. Why can't you invite Wale Adedayo? They took 10 armed policemen to Ife to go and arrest Wale Adedayo and brought him to Iliweron. Spent the night there. Mm. And then hurriedly on Monday, they went to court. Thank God the court granted him bail. It's an experience. Many people went to jail. It does not matter. But we are saying these are things, if we really understand the act of conflict resolution, these are things the state government will have done as a, a state known for intellectualism, that it won't go to all this level. And it has not ended. It has not ended. So maybe you give right. me Let me round up too. Okay. We are also concerned. I have friends who live at Alagbole. When I drive there, it's an hell. Okay. Infrastructures are down. Okay. All right. Comrade, so so you, comrade, you said a lot, but comrade, what's your comrade, response, Mr. Kumar? We are here, first and foremost, to discuss the issue of Awale Adedayo. If any time you invite us to come and discuss the issue of uh, demolition, we all, we all have time for that. We don't need to create a diversionary uh, uh, style in, in, our, in our discussion. On, if, on the issue of, of why we are here, gentlemen, uh, Mr. Loremiko also said in his last analysis that um, what has the House of Assembly yes, done will, in this that, regard? Yes, what has yes, been uh, the, yes, the... That's what I want to talk yes, about. What, what has been the kind of intervention or engagement? If truly have been following trend of things in the Odegon State, wouldn't have said this because I'm aware that the second day after Wale wrote his letter, the House of Assembly, led by the Speaker, invited the Minister of Local Government and Chetansi Affair to come and present their, their documents to the House of Assembly. I got this document from that city. So they came and they presented this. And the, House of, the Speaker said, well, we are, here, we are here with this, but we are expecting so this was generated, generated by, by the House by through the, their own, are you saying this, through this their own generated, independent? I got this from the House of Assembly okay. when the, 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 the people concerned in sharing, in sharing allocation to local government came to talk about this based on Wale Dayo. But did they, uh, did they reveal the source of the document? The source of the document is from, is, 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 now if you Google Jack, Joint Account, it's, it's, it's in public glare. If you Google, you get all these facts and figures, mm. they are there. If you go good jack, you know how much was allocated to Ogun State every month. If you want to know it within the next 10 years, it's the idea. So they are, they are public uh, documents. They are not secret. And the amount Ogun State pay to Ogun State is also there. You know. So for my comrade to say that, okay, uh, Ogun State, did, uh, the, the governor did not uh, go to the House of Assembly. But, if you had been following the trend right. of story in Ogun State, we would have known that that was done. But, and that's why we are, that's why we are impeding some... Political motive to this. Yes, and I, I wanted to also ask that because if if, if, if it is all is from is is an APC member member and, and I want to tell you, you came, uh, well, but let me ask if, let let me ask uh, Mr. Kimadi if it is all that you you say it is the governor has you know maintained innocence on the matter that he has a name to protect and and you are here to buttress on that point but if. Where do you think this is coming from? Because you've spoken about a motive. Where, where is this coming from? Where is this, you know, you know outburst we are, we from? We are in a political environment. Right. And if you, if, you look, if, you look, if, you, if you look deep, we know that there are, there are, there are more 
to this. Very, very important. Mm. Because Wale Adidayo and the governor, they belong to the same political party. And I'm aware that in 2019, when the governor was elected, he invited Wale Adidayo to come and be his media, one of his media consultants. So Wale Adidayo is not a stranger to the governor. And I have known Wale Adidayo and governor since 1996. When I... There was a day I met Wale Adayo in Mr. Governor's office before he became governor. And Wale Adayo told me that, hey, Egbenya is my brother. We came from the same area. And because he is close to my friend and my brother, I too also give, give him that regard of a, of a brother to a, a, a friend. The governor appointed him as special advisor. He, he later met the governor that he wanted to be Katika chairman. The governor obliged him. And the governor also created the opportunity for him to become chairman of a local government. You are the chairman of a local government. You have issue with your governor. And you did not find means of reach. He has his number. He assess him. He did not find means of getting in touch with me. Mr. Governor, these are some of the things that are bothering my mind. And for you to not go and make a flippant allegation that has no root, you know that there is more to it. The tendency is to create crisis in Ogun State, to give, to wear the governor a very a, a borrowed robe, and we thank God that the governor has rejected the rope. And I want, want to appeal to our people to ask Mr. Wale Adidayo to bring, to come, he has, he, he, has, he has made allegations. He should come and prove the allegation. He should come and prove it. He who alleges must be able to prove. Let me also ask Mr. Mr. Loremiko, because you know, some questions have also been directed at uh, the uh, defendant in the person of Wale Adedayo. And of course, there is an issue that he is impeached now. Uh, his uh, members of his constituents were backed by a particular petition leveled against him. In fact, there are a host of allegations uh, against him, you know, alleging that um, he withdrew about four million naira from the local government account for empowerment in 2022, which never took place. Wastage of two million on Isheshi Day uh, on August the 20th. They are also saying uh, that um, a question was, was even asked. There, there are so many. I don't want to take time, but you know, a question was asked: How has the chairman been running the local government affairs without funds? If indeed he says that there had there were no funds for him to to run with. So how then? Shouldn't he also provide uh, these answers? How legitimate are these um, questions put across to him? Um, thank you very much. I think uh, I want us to remember what my friend said. He's mentioned his, his position is close to the position of um, Justice Oputa and some other former justice of the Supreme Court, who said justice is not one way. To the victim, to the society, and to the person being attacked, or you alleging, justice is not one way. I want to know if fair hearing goes to all these things we are saying. You can't put somebody in DSS facility, a, a little way police command, and you are saying fear hearing is going on. We, as members of the civil society, we wrote a petition and handed it over to the office of the speaker of the State House of Assembly. Okay, what was the object of the petition? On this issue. Okay. Wale Adedayo. And what was and the stance? We, we, no, no, no response yet. What was your stance? Our stand is that whether Wale is right or wrong, there must be a public hearing. And fairness must be there. He himself, who alleged Wale Adedayo, must be there. So that everybody can see. Like we are told, I have gone to many sites before. You find out that it works in the morning doesn't work in the afternoon. you find out that what you are looking for is not there. However, the reality of it is I have not looked at Ogun State Jack in my life. I have never. But now we have information. And that's why I said your station has done something good. The debate must continue. Whether A, B, C, or X, Y, Z, it cannot be end of discussion. We must help our democracy to grow. 
I also, I know Wale Adedayo from my undergraduate days. I don't know where he's living in Ijebu. I've never been to his local government secretariat before, but I know I once visited him in his home in Ikorodu. On Wale Adedayo on Facebook, I see him exhibiting projects he's doing. Road rehabilitation, he will show the uh, old road, the new road, why work is going on. I've seen him doing boho. But I also know, as a student of society, that many local governments also do what they call internal generated revenue. So where he got the money to do the job, I don't know. He's the one to come and explain it. But what I'm saying is this. All these arguments we are going would have been saved if the governor just take that singular action of a civil suit against him, libel. He will be doing his own job. I will be doing my own job. Wale will be doing his job. And the court will say, shut up. Don't destroy this man's reputation. But all this action, we have activated SSS under the excuse that uh, we want to maintain public order. Which public order? Which, since then, who has taken over to the streets? Who has destroyed public property? The issue has been on for over two weeks. So under the pretense that I am the one, I have the authority, what I call abuse of power. And unfortunately, we are saying this is our own democracy. I know what I did to chase away the military. All right. And I know what many Nigerians suffered okay. to have a democratic government. The gain of democratic government should be to the benefit of everybody. The whole world is watching us how we resolve issues of social affairs among ourselves. Using all this state machinery does not help. All right. Mr. Loremiko, what do you have to say in response to that? Uh, is the government, how far is the government willing to go in, uh, you know, defending its name, so to speak. And he has called for a public hearing. Some people have also called for, for an audit because you have come here with, with certain doc documents, you know, but specifically on the issue of how local government funds are disbursed and um, you know, spent. What is the government doing about that? You've also talked about some subventions by the state government, but you know, on paper, you know, documentation that is to show that these monies are used for what they said they are, they are earmarked for. And you know, the important issue of auditing, where, where is the place of that in Ogun State? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, I will first of all add to what my friend said, <coughs> and uh, it's just an advice that uh, before we find ourselves in a media space like this, it is also important for our people, our people, because I also belong to the, the group, to try as much as possible to investigate. We should, must, we should not just jump gone. If somebody alleges that they, we invite people in government, we want to know the true, true position of things before we go out, so that we don't make mistakes. You cannot hear from one other day else alone and refuse to hear from governor Absolutely. and you take action. That's, that's, that's all unfair. That's an injustice against uh, government. Every local government, every state government do come up with an audit, audit account every year. And I know the lo their local government because in some of the documents I saw, I saw some, some um, letters, correspondence indicating that there is need for us to do this and do that in the local, go in the local government. We cannot run local government affair for Mr. Wale Adidayo. And he has the right to execute any project of his choice in his local government. And you can now imagine what my father have just said that he, in his uh, Facebook account, he saw some projects being executed before and after. But the same person came out to say that he has been receiving zero allocation. It's very unfortunate. And more importantly, there are some allegations that uh, the councillors in Jebu East leveled against him. It's also very important for them to prove it and for him to defend those allegations. One of those allegations was the fact that uh, he collected 5.2 million era for the uh, building of um, um, shares, um, making of shares in some schools. And very unfortunate, only 20 were made with 5.2 million era. When they asked him, he said the money was used for that, for from other thing because the person who want to do it, he don't do it very well. If you want to go to equity, you go with clean hands. Since he has, have a point, he has alleged the governor of doing certain things, he has the right to prove to the whole world that, okay, what he said was right or wrong. 
So also the allegation levied against him at the local government level. He must also come out clean so that people, because it is not, we must not have two laws for two different people because you are governor, because you are local government. Law must be equal. We must be treated equal before, before the law. So it's not just, so if he has done something on towards the local government, that thing also should be investigated. The one he said that uh, he has information that uh, some money was there, but it must be investigated and Nigeria must know the truth. And that's why the, the position of the government of Ogun State is that he has, he has made some allegations and he must be ready to come and prove it. Yeah, but you talked about investigation, so who does that? Is the government willing to take if, up the if challenge? If the governor believes in rule, the rule of law, <laughs> in some other crime, some people will resort to set up jungle justice. The governor went to court because of this and he has done the, the needful. That's what a normal, a, a, a responsible governor would do. Instead of taking law into his, uh, into, 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 into his own hand, he never sent any uh, talks or any political something against the person accused him. He said, okay, let us go to the court of law and prove this case. If truly I have uh, diverted any cover from the local government, oh. let the public know. And oh. if not, let the person who alleges face the consequences. Uh, final words from you. 30 seconds. Can you, can you spare that? Um, <laughs> yeah, I just feel that... Um, it's good for the government to go back to the drawing board. Okay. Feedback could be positive, it could be negative. We still have a long way to go, mm -hmm. and Ogun State must develop. Mr. Shin Shino Lorimi Kong, the National Coordinator Campaign Against Impunity and Chief Consultant on Media to Governor Dakbo Abiodun of Ogun State, Kayode Akimade, we thank you both very much for your contributions on TVC Breakfast this morning. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much.